Ms. Black, just give us your name and you have two minutes. Margo Black, organizer with Portland Tenants United. You'll be happy to know I don't have a speech to read, so you can cut me off. Uh, it's because I'm really tired. Uh, I woke up this morning thinking I'd read a speech, but instead I got this mess. I was tagged in this message on Facebook. Is anyone able to help a neighbor who is an older disabled woman move her stuff into storage today or tomorrow? She got a no cause eviction and her time is up. She has no place to go and she shouldn't be kicked out, but kind of at a loss for what to do other than help her move her stuff. Commissioners, this is my new daily life. Two years ago, I was a math teacher and a mother of three. I still am, but I spend all of my spare time responding to inquiries like this. Uh, as uh, Sammy mentioned, those folks call us, write us, message us, walk up to us on the streets when we're in our shirts and tell us their stories. If it's not the Ash Street tenants, it's the build the 43 unit building of uh, low income um, immigrant families in Tigard facing no cause evictions. It's the families in my son's school at Riki Elementary who message me or email me and ask if I know where they can find affordable housing because they have no cause evictions or rent increases they can't afford. It's the, the family of six, including triplets who were one year old a year and a half ago who had to move because of a no cause eviction. They spent the summer camping in grandma's yard. They are still cycling between the yard, the car, and the couch of grandma's house because they haven't been able to get back into housing. It's the folks who uh, wrote me around the same time who moved from a no cause eviction um, and moved into an RV and now message me with tickets, the photos of the tickets they're getting for parking their RV um, all over town that they can't afford. It has been a year, okay? Commissioner Novick, you asked about statistics. I want to know why we know when we commissioned the study on Uber and taxi cabs, why we knew about every single pickup and drop off at every single point at every single time in the city and the number of passengers, but we don't know how many people have been displaced by no cause evictions in the city of Portland. How is that happening? All right, Airbnb hosts, the 20% or so who are actually operating legally, are more regulated than Portland landlords. If you want to get a drink, I can tell you more stories. If I wear my shirt, people will walk up to us and tell us about their $500 rent increase. It makes my $200 rent increase this year, makes, makes me feel lucky, even though it's bet, which is better than the $250 rent increase I got last year. We need a rent freeze. We need a moratorium on no-cause evictions. We need action. We need leadership. We need it yesterday. Thank you very much. Thank you.